After struggling for weeks, I finally figured out how to make a lightning effect in Desmos using math. This is part four of my series where I create an animation from scratch and break down the design process. For the first time, if you want to know exactly how to make this animation, you can go to my YouTube channel where I posted a step-by-step -step tutorial. So how did I end up figuring it out? Well, I ended up researching how mathematicians model lightning. And while I didn't understand that much of what I read, I did start to see a few things over and over again. The thing I finally figured out was that there was a way to model lightning by using randomness, like I used in part three of this series. And you can use a recursive process, meaning a process that depends on the steps before it. And you can choose the next place for the lightning to go, and you could have it go left, right, down. So what I did, was have it randomly either go left, right, or stay in the same spot horizontally, and I either had it go down or stay in the same spot vertically, and I just repeated this process until it made a lightning effect. Now making the branching of this lightning was a little bit tricky with my simple process, so I had to do some figuring out for that, which you can see in my longer breakdown video. So now that I finally created my lightning effect, I'm ready to put all the pieces together for my final animation. So my next video will be about how to put different animations together into one animation. Please give me a follow if you liked this video and consider going to my YouTube channel to look at the tutorial. See you in part five.